Hello! Sorry, again, I have a lot of trouble figuring this Facebook thing out, but it's working. So hopefully you can see it. Um, if you can't, or if you have any problems, just leave a comment and I'll try and keep an eye on it. But otherwise, we'll go through a bit quicker tonight and just do maybe 20 minutes or so using the chair and the floor. I'll move the camera around a bit so you can see clearly. Um, I was just booting my husband out of the room. Oh, hi Jenny. Hi, it's probably just you watching. <laughs> okay, all right, let's give this a go. I hope Helen's doing it too. Good. <laughs> all right, come and stand in front of the chair. Hopefully you've got a chair sort of like this one. Or you can use your couch if you don't have a chair like this, or you can use a stool or just whatever. So standing in front of the chair and just sit, sit nice and tall, lengthen your spine and just take a couple of deep breaths. So big breath in and out. Relax the shoulders, lengthen your spine, breathing in and out. Two more deep breaths in and out. And last time, big breath in and out. Brace your core and think about your back being nice and straight. Okay, reach the arms forward, then just standing up, and then coming back down, just tap your bum on the chair and then lift back up again. So coming up and down. Really push through your heels. Keep breathing and embracing your core. So we'll try and do 10 of these first. You shouldn't feel this in your back. You wanna make sure the hips are working have a look at your knees and make sure that the knees are in line with your toes, not wobbling in or out. A couple more of those. One more. Okay, and then sit down and just turn your body to the side like this. So keep your knees still and just turn to the side, look past your shoulder. And then turn to the other side, look past your shoulder. So just keep going from side to side. Don't pull too hard, just a little movement. And two more like that. And last one. And then I want you to put your hands on the beat seat like that and lift your chest up. So arch your back a little bit, looking up. And then let your body reach forward, stretch your legs out and reach down. And do that again. So push your hands into the chair, lift your chest up and look up, and then take your legs out and reach forward and down. Okay, then we're coming back to that squat movement, this time we're doing a little bit less, so up and down, tap your bum on the chair, squeeze your bum, and push through your heels. So again, you want to make sure you're doing this well, that your chest is lifted, and you're not twisting or bending your back. Try two more. You can have the TV going if you like. Watch your favorite show in the background. And then turn to the side, look past that shoulder, and then turn to the other side. And one more each way, turn, and turn. And then push your hands into the seat and lift your chest up. And then reach forward, let your back round. And one more time, hands into the seat, lift your chest up. And then reach forward and down. This time we're going to focus on one leg at a time. So take one leg in front of you, stretch it out, and the other leg's tucked in and it's bent. I might change sides, so I'll do this side like that. Push off the bent leg, so it's like a single leg squat. Come and tap your bum down. If you really want a challenge, you can lift that leg off like this. Don't laugh, give it a go. So you're doing a single leg squat. The other leg is just hovering in front of you. Exactly the same as before, but it'll feel a lot harder because you're just pushing through this side. 
try two more on this leg. Push up. Make sure your knee's safe, don't let it wobble around. Okay, how was that side? Try the other one. Stick that leg out, push through this side. Remember if it's too hard doing it like this, you can put this leg on the ground, like that. You're still working one side at a time, but it just helps you balance a little bit more. If I'm going too fast, just go a bit slower, that's fine. No one's watching. Try three more. Again, you should be able to do this without feeling it in your back. Should actually be a good bum workout. One more. Now this time, legs down and lean over. So you're going to stretch one arm up like this and lean across to the side. Like that. And then to the other side, up and over. Don't let your bum come off here. This is just getting your spine and your, butt, your bot, upper body moving. Right, so it's just stretching you out a little bit. Shouldn't be hurting you. One more each way. We're going to do one more set of those single leg squats. Come back into this one, up and down. So five on each leg. Two, get that balance. If you want to make it harder, don't sit down. Just tap your bum, but come straight back up again. Feel that? Other side, five on the other leg. So you tap your bum and then push back up. Tap. The less you sit on the chair, the harder it's going to be. Two more. And last one. Whoa, well done. Turn around. Lean on the chair like this. So now you're resting on the chair like this. Legs out behind you. Feet flat. Arch your back up. Drop your head down. Like this. And then reverse it. So you drop your belly down, stick your bum out behind you, make sure no one's behind you. That can be really awkward. And then look up. And do that again. So arch your back up. And down. So this is a classic Pilates exercise. But if you can't be bothered getting onto the ground, you can do it up against the wall or against a chair. It will look awkward if you're in public. People will give you weird looks. So probably best to do this one at home. One more. And then come to neutral. So when you're in neutral spine, your back should feel really safe and strong. It's got those natural curves. Knees are a bit bent. Turn and reach up. Turn to the side. And then to the other side. Open the book. This is one of my most favourite movements because I really think it's important for us all to open up through the upper back, chest. We spend a lot of the day hunched forward, so this is a good one to reverse that. Again, it shouldn't be hurting your back. You don't want to twist your lower back in this one. Just your upper back. And then grab the chair a little bit further forward and stretch your hips back like this. Again, not a good one for public. So let your bum go backwards. Push your chest down. Hold it here. Okay, then we're going to step back a little bit more. So now you're in a plank, right? I want you to rock forwards and backwards like this. So you're lifting your heels up and down and you're rocking. We'll probably try and go through these ones again soon because I know we're moving through quite quickly. Hope you can hear me okay and see everything. So you're just lifting and lowering on the toes. Don't let your back sink. If you're doing this, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> So the hips back, it should be almost a straight line from your heels to your hips to your shoulders. Is that too easy? Lift one leg off, but don't swivel your hips. And then forward, back. Okay, you can make it as big or as little as you need to. You know, if, if an exercise is not right for you, don't do it or adapt it. Change sides. The further forward you go and back, the harder your core is going to work, right? So just rocking forward and back, shoulders back and down, chin slightly tucked. I know you have to look at me, but try and align your neck sometimes like this. Okay, 
and then step it in. So come close to the chair, back to your camel, cat camel, up and down, arch on the back, up and down. Move from your bum. So tuck your tailbone and then go up to your neck. Tuck your tailbone. Come back to neutral and then turn to the side, that opening book. And then turn to the other side, opening. And turn. And one more to the other side. Reach forward, stretch your hips back and hold it here. If you have a chair that allows it, you can actually rest your forehead on it like this. And breathe, big breath in. And out. And in. And out. And then stepping back with your legs and doing your rocks, forward, back, forward, back. If your um, wrists are getting sore, mine get a bit sore like this, so come in like this and you can lean onto your chair if you've got a soft chair like me. If you don't, you might not want to do this, or you can put a pillow on it maybe. So just do little rocks forward and backwards, like that, with the shoulders back and down. Little movements. Did you want the challenge? Take one leg off and then a little tiny rock without letting your body move to the side. So you don't want to change position when you take one leg off. Other side, forward, back, forward, back. It's like a body saw without letting your back move. Two more. Cool, and feet down, step it in all the way and then push up. I'm going to turn my chair around like this. You can just move around to the back of your chair if you like. Grab onto one foot like this. Quad stretch. Now don't let your back arch, so neutral, right? And then lean forward like you're bowing to the chair and then come back up. So you should feel the stretching out the front of the thigh of the leg that's bent, right? And strengthening the other side. So make sure you don't grip the chair too hard. You don't want to have white knuckles in this one. Just relax, fingers. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go find Dad. That was my daughter. Hey. He's having a shower. Go in there. Go knock on the door. We'll get into bed. Come and, come and wave to the computer. Come and wave. Come and stand in front of the computer and wave. Wave. That's Thea. She should be in bed right now. Say good night to everyone. Good night. I'll come and give you a kiss soon. Okay. okay. Two more. <laughs> and last one. Okay, and then I want you to stand side on. You're going to lift your knee up and then push your heel back like this. So leg up. Okay, so don't lean to the side, make sure you stay nice and straight with your body. I want you to squeeze your bum as you push that leg back behind you. Two more. Now stretch that leg out and in, just straight out to the side this time. Whereas before we were going backwards a little bit, this time we're just going straight out to the side. Don't make it too big because I don't want your hips to be swinging around. They should be staying pretty still. Now we're going to do a circle, so we're going to go around. Don't be too close to the wall like I am, so you're making a big circle with that hip. If that's catching or anything in your hip, make it smaller, you don't have to do it big. You should be starting to feel some work, even on the standing leg that you're actually not moving. It should be getting a bit hot and heavy there. Okay, wiggle it out, other side. So I'm going to turn around like this. You're just going to go up, back. So that leg is going behind you. If I turn like this, you should see the leg goes behind you and out to the side, like that. Okay, up, back. Your body shouldn't be doing this, okay? None of this. Stay really still in your upper body. 
two more. Okay, and then we're just going out and out and doesn't take much for the hips to start to get loaded. Just standing on one leg is challenging. Preach. Couple more. Three, two, one, and then do those circles. So we're going round, round, round. Are you feeling that now? You should be. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here's another favourite of mine. Turn, face the chair, lunge. You there? Knee through, knee it, come back, drop, hover. So we take the leg back, it hovers off the ground in a lunge, like that, and then bring the knee through, like that. Hover, through, hover. So your core muscles need to be working throughout. Don't let them turn off. Couple more. Stay here, just up, down, up, down, three more. So that should be getting pretty tiring in the thighs. Last one, stay here, push the heel back, lift the back heel up, push the back heel down, up, down. Keep this front leg really bent, okay, up, down down. Now keep that back heel down and just stay here. Should be hurting. This should feel quite hard to hold. I want you to push the floor away with that front foot. Okay. I describe it like a toddler throwing a tantrum, which I want to do sometimes. I'm just stamping that heel into the ground. Now the same arm as the leg that's behind you, that's my left arm, is going to reach across like this. Same arm of the leg that's behind you. This should be feeling like you don't want to hold it anymore. And like you want to turn off your computer, but don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Other side. Lunge through. Lunge through. So if this is hurting your knees, you don't have to make it as big. You can just do squats if you want to. Just do something. Keep moving. Keep that brace. Three, two, one. Now just lunges, up and down straight in that lunge. Don't grip the chair. You should almost be able to have your hands like this, okay? The chair is just there for a little bit of support. Now just that heel, up and down with the back heel. Front foot is flat. Front knee is really bent in a deep lunge. My heart rate's up. I mustn't have been exercising enough lately, I think. Couple more. Heel down. The same arm of the leg that's behind you, so now it's my right arm, reaches over. So you get a stretch down here. Up and over. Three, two, one. Okay, I hope you're still with me. Just a couple more and then we'll come down to the mat for a little bit. Can you lean on the back of your chair? If you don't, if you don't have a back like mine, you can lean on the chair with your hands resting on it like we were before. Just so you like this somehow. You're going to stretch that leg back and forward. Back and forward. So it's like your roundhouse kicking someone behind you and then you're kneeing someone in front of you. Everything's so violent. <laughs> Two more. Don't move your back. If your lower back gets sore on this one, it's because you're wriggling it around. Stay here. Pulse up and down. For ten, nine, eight. That should hurt, right? Six, five, four, three. Last thing here, we're going to bring that knee in, out to the side like this and then kick it back. Are you laughing? Side. Back. Again, if your lower back's hurting, it's because it's doing work when it doesn't need to be. Your bum should be doing all the work. Ouch. One more. Three, two, 
one more. Okay, have a break. Hold on to the chair, bum back, head down and breathe in and out and in and out. One more in. Now we have to remember what we did and do it on the other side. Okay, other leg. Make sure you are doing the other leg. Okay, in and out. Try and do about 10, so squeeze your bum. I want you to imagine that I'm poking your belly button. I'm jabbing you, your gut, with my finger. What would you do if I was to do that? You'd tense that area, right? So go ahead, brace those muscles just enough to keep your back still and supported. Now keep that leg back and pulse up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can bend your front knee a little bit if that feels better. Then take that back leg out to the side and stretch it out so it bends into the side and then back. In, back. Just do something. Move your leg. It'll hurt no matter what direction it's going. Four more. Relax your shoulders. Don't tense up the neck and jawline. Two more. And rest. Okay, the last thing we'll do upright is our calf raises for our ankles. So I want you to be a ballerina. Toes out, up, up. Okay, so we're working our ankles and our lower legs. So we'll do normal ones first, like that. Then come up, hold it, and slowly lower your heels down. As soon as they touch, it's like a hot lava floor. Up. Slowly lower them down. Up, slow. Up, slow. Tummy muscles on, pelvic floor lifted, neutral spine, right? Everything's in its place. Four more. Two to go. Nice work. Okay, we're just going to finish with some floor ones. So if you get your chair, we can still use this. If you don't have a chair like mine, remember you can use your couch. Hold on, I've just got something really important to do. Okay, we're good. All right, bring your legs up onto the chair. This. Breathe. Big breath in. And out. So I want you to let the chair take the full weight of your legs. Let your back sink into the ground. Try not to tense your legs or your bum. So just relax the whole bottom half of your body. Let your shoulders align. The neck is neutral. The back of the head is heavy. If you've got a hair tie, I suggest you pull it out or just pull it up a bit like that so that your head is in, in an awkward position. Brace your core and then lift your legs off the chair like this. So you've braced and lifted the feet off, and then bring the feet back down, just rest them, and then lift them up. So you should be able to do this without your back moving. It shouldn't be flat, it shouldn't be arched, it should be completely relaxed. So the tummy muscles are engaging against the weight of your legs. So just keep your back still, the neck relaxed. Try not to look at me too much. You can watch what I'm doing and then look back at the ceiling so that your head and neck don't get sore. So just lift your legs up and down. This is a really one good one you can do at the end of the day rather than sitting on the couch to watch TV. Get on the floor, still watch TV, but just do these sort of ones at the same time. Your back will like you because it's lengthening. Stay there, keep your legs off the chair and then stretch one out. You might have to move the chair a bit further away. So the leg goes out, and then the other side, out. So you're kind of tapping the chair with the back of your knee or the back of your lower leg, depending on where your chair is. But the same rules apply here. Your back's not moving, right? Shouldn't hurt. Tummy muscles, if I was to jab you now, there's some solidness right here, okay? It's working. Feel that. Now this time, take one leg out to the side. 
like that. Just one leg, the other one hasn't moved an inch. Go to the other side, so the leg goes out. Your hips don't move, so your bum should stay completely still on the floor. If you want to make this harder, do this. Reach your arms to the ceiling, feel that? Because you have to brace your core harder, because if you don't, what's going to happen is this. Right, so you want to make sure that the hips stay really still. So just keep going with one leg at a time. Out to the side, and then back in. Out to the side, and then back in. Two more. And then I'll give you an extra hard one now. Bring your legs together. So we're here. This is called the dead bug position. Right? And then stretch your arms behind you and take your legs out like that. Out and in. Okay, if that's too hard, you can just do one leg. And if that's too hard, you can just keep the knees bent and lower your feet down to the chair. So I'll give you the other options. This is one option. One leg at a time like that. And this is the other option to make it even a bit easier is the heels tap down. But if you want to go the full shebang, arms and legs, like that, your back shouldn't hurt. If it does, you've gone too far. Know your body, be smart. Are you breathing? We haven't talked about that in a while, have we? Try and breathe out as you take the arms out like this. Breathe out and then breathe in to come back. Breathe out and breathe in. Two more. Breathe out. Breathe in. Last one. Breathe out. Breathe in. Okay, just gently pull one knee in and let the other leg rest on the chair. Don't pull that leg in too tight, just a little bit. Give it a little hold. And then to the other side. There's heaps we could do on the chair, but we'll just do a little, just one one or two more. Legs on the chair, see if you can push that chair maybe a little bit further away so your heels are on like this. I kind of want you out like that. And you're going to lift your bum up. You can do this off the couch, remember. Bum up. Bum down. Don't come up onto your neck. Shouldn't be anywhere near your neck, should be kind of the shoulder blades. Squeeze your bum. We'll do 10 of these. Four more. And last one. Okay, what I'm going to get you to do now is a stretch for your hip. Bring that chair back in. Like that. Can you rest one foot on the opposite knee like this? Now the closer you bring that this leg that's resting on the chair, the closer you pull it in towards you, the more hip you're gonna get, hip stretch you're gonna get. So hold it there, breathe in and out. So we've challenged our body legs a lot today, lots of leg work, but your abdominals have also been targeted. Bit of mobility work for that back, shoulders and hips. So we've ticked most of the boxes in that quick, in that half hour workout. Change sides. So remember these videos will stay on the Palmy Pilates Facebook page, I think. So you can access them whenever, I'm pretty sure. And if you want to do the same one again, you can do it. I'll try and film again on Sunday. And um, we'll do some other different things so you can get a bit more variety. So you should be feeling this in the outside of one of those hips, okay? And then coming off. Nice work. Whew. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that all right. Let me know in the comments um, if you want anything in particular or if you had any trouble accessing that. I look like I've got no hair. There we go. Um, and thank you for tuning in, Jenny and Helen. Have a good night. Yeah.